Welcome to the Penrith Solar Center Solar Academy. Today, we are going to be talking about the Tesla Powerwall. In this video, you'll learn the specs of the Powerwall. We'll dive into the technical details and features, including its capacity, its dimensions, and its compatibility with other solar systems. We're going to be exploring the costs. We'll discuss the pricing included, installation costs, and what impacts them. And we're going to be understanding the lifespan of the Tesla Powerwall. We'll examine the durability and expected lifespan of the Powerwall, including any warranties and maintenance requirements that you should know about. And lastly, we'll be assessing if the Powerwall is actually worth it. We'll weigh the benefits and the drawbacks of investing in a Tesla Powerwall, considering factors such as energy savings, backup power capabilities, and environmental impact. First up, let's talk about the specs and features of a Tesla Powerwall 2. The Tesla Powerwall 2 has a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity, which means it can store 13.5 kilowatt hours of energy. Now, the battery will be able to charge and discharge at a rate of five kilowatts of continuous power. It'll also give you peak power of seven kilowatts for 10 seconds. The size and height of the product is 1150 mil tall. The width is about 750 mil wide and it's about 150 mil deep, which makes it quite slim on the wall. Now, I must mention, you don't have to mount this thing on the wall. It is floor mount or wall mount. The weight of the Tesla Powerwall is 114 kilos, which means you'll even need some really strong people to install it, or you'll need an, a lifting device to aid the installation. One of the biggest pros of a Tesla Powerwall 2 is that it's actually compatible with every single solar system ever installed in the world. In fact, you don't even need to have a solar system to install a Tesla Powerwall 2 on your home. If you want backup power, you can actually install a Powerwall 2 without solar to give you backup power as an emergency. Pretty unique feature of the Powerwall. The Powerwall is also incredibly great for retrofits, which means if you already have a solar system on your home and you're thinking about battery storage, you won't actually have to make any changes to that existing solar system. You can bolt a Tesla Powerwall 2 on and it will be compatible with that solar system through what we call AC coupling. The power wall is easy to stack, which means you don't have to get one or two. In fact, you can get up to 10 batteries per site. That's pretty impressive at 135 kilowatt hours of storage. They've got to be some cons though, right? One of the cons of the Tesla Powerwall is that it has a built-in DC inverter, which means it does have a failure point in the battery. The other big con of the Tesla Powerwall too is its lack of black start. Now, what does black start mean? Well, if your grid goes out and you're relying for your power wall to supply power to your home and you use all that power, the solar system won't kickstart the battery if the battery goes flat and the battery won't kickstart the solar system. So if you have a blackout that lasts two, three days and you run out of power on night one, you're without power until the grid comes back on. There are other batteries on the market where if you run out of power overnight, in the morning, the solar will kickstart the battery or the battery will kickstart the solar and you can essentially live off the grid. The Powerwall doesn't quite do that like we would like. Let's talk about the cost of a Tesla Powerwall 2. Now, a common misconception is that a Tesla Powerwall 2 is actually quite an expensive battery. The Powerwall 2 is actually one of the cheapest batteries on the market when you work out dollar per watt. Now, what do I mean by dollar per watt? Well, at Penrose Solar Center, you'll get a Tesla Powerwall fully installed from $14,500, including GST, including parts, and including labor. Now, we will charge a little extra if you have a three-phase house or if there are major switchboard modifications that are needed to your home. So you take that $14,500 and you divide it by the 13.5 kilowatt hours, and that's how you get the dollar per watt. The Powerwall fully installed at just over a dollar per watt is actually incredible value. Why does the cost of a Tesla Powerwall 2 vary from installer to installer? So the variations aren't necessarily on the cost of the battery. The variations are certainly on the installation costs. Does the solar company who's installing my Powerwall use in-house installation crews or subcontractors? There'll also be a variation in whether you want to stack 
the batteries using a Tesla Genuine Stacker Kit, or if you're gonna mount the batteries across your wall. There are different installation techniques as well. Is the company using galvanized Dyna bolts, or are they trying to screw it to the wall with screws? At Penrith Solar Center, if you have a brick wall, we will always go the Dyna bolt option. In fact, we will always go the extra mile at all steps with our Tesla Powerwall 2 installs. That is where you're going to get price deviations. What is the lifespan of a Tesla Powerwall 2? Well, firstly, what actually impacts the lifespan of a Powerwall? Are, of course, temperature, the amount of cycles and charge and discharge rates of your battery, the depth of discharge that you charge and discharge your battery to each day, and some of the other things that can affect the lifespan are as if you sign up to a virtual power plant or VPP as we call them, this could actually reduce the warranty of your power wall. Now, there's a flip side to that. If you go on Tesla's virtual power plant, your warranty will actually be extended from 10 years to 15 years, which gives me pretty good peace of mind that most power walls, although warranted for 10 years, will definitely see the 15 year mark. Now, this doesn't mean that the battery will be at 100% until year 10 or 15. In fact, the Tesla warranty document says that at year 10, your Powerwall must be able to hold 70% capacity. Now, if you get to year seven and your battery holds 80% uh, capacity, it's not a linear warranty. So it must hit that 70% threshold, then Tesla will replace your battery at no charge to you. So now that we have the warranty period under wraps, when will I need to replace a Tesla Powerwall? And when it gets replaced, will my home be without power? A Powerwall will need to be replaced when it comes to the end of its life. Now, that decision may be up to you or it may not be. There's every chance that it could just stop working one day out of its warranty period. But there's also an equal chance that the battery could naturally degradate to the point where you think it's maybe no longer worth having it turned on. For example, if we got to the 20 year mark and your battery was only holding 30% capacity, that might be time for you to think about replacing your Tesla Powerwall 2. Now the Powerwall 2 is a fully recyclable product. In fact, up to 95% of it can actually be recycled. So don't feel bad about wastage as long as it goes to the right place. The answer that you all came here for, is the Tesla Powerwall 2 worth it? My opinion is somewhat biased because I have Powerwalls on my own home and I feel like I made a great decision. My home is blackout proof, I use my own energy at all times, and I'm living the electric lifestyle and practicing what I preach, so I think they're totally worth it. But you need to make that decision for yourself and your family. And some of the things that'll impact that decision are, do you have a suitable wall space for the Tesla Powerwall 2? Do you think the financial return of a Powerwall 2 is actually good enough? And do you value energy security? And have you checked out Tesla's great monitoring app that will show you what your house is producing, storing and consuming at all times? Once you've gone through that little checklist, I think you'll know the answer to whether the Tesla Powerwall 2 is the right battery for your home. If you wanna learn more today about the Tesla Powerwall 2 or any other products that we sell at Penrith Solar Center, check out the rest of our articles. There are a ton of great videos and articles about all products, installation methods, and what we stand for here at Penrith Solar Center. Links are in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'm Jake from Penrith Solar Center. We'll see you on the next one.